What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, my name is Big Fry, and shout out to the Fry Nation, guys. A lot of people say that I'm a negative person, I like to bitch about video games and that's all I do, I'm not a real gamer, because I like to bitch about shady things in the industry, who would have guessed? Um, but I wanted to start a dialogue and talk about my most anticipated games of 2016 slash 2017, and I want to hear your guys' as well. I'm always curious to see what kind of audience I have, whether it's majority to shooters, RTS guys. I'm really curious, and I want to hear your thoughts, so let's get right into it. Keep in mind, this is in no particular order, but I want to start with World of Warcraft Legion. If you guys have been longtime subscribers of the channel, you know I used to cover MMO content. I just don't have enough time to play these games on a regular basis because I, I have a full-time job, and I do this YouTube and Twitch thing in all of my spare time, but I'm curious to get back into Legion because this is supposedly taking us back to when World of Warcraft was fucking awesome and not this trash Warlords of Draenor expansion. Um, so I'm curious to see what they're going to do. Uh, we're going back to Burning Crusade, which is really exciting for a lot of players, and I always like to go back and play the expansions, at least level my character up to the max and maybe start doing some of the dungeons and stuff like that. It's the dailies that fucking kill me. I don't know if you guys are MMO players, but in World of Warcraft, the last two expansions have been all about doing like thousands of fucking daily quests every day to try and, and get gear and go into looking for raid. It just got to be too much. If I can do all of the stuff that I need to do to get my, like, say, justice points or however they're going to do it, if I can do that in a day or two days a week, just grind all of my dungeons and do all that and still get into looking for raid after a little while of doing that, I'm fine with that. But if I have to play every single day to do the end game content, I'm just going to fall out of it because I just don't have enough time. Moving on, let's go to Titanfall 2. Titanfall was an amazing first person shooter. I had a ball with it for about a month and then the content just wasn't there. It was just so repetitive playing the same two or three maps over and over and over again. So I hope that they come out with a lot of content at launch. That's what's going to make or break this title. And I think, I think Respawn has learned from the last game what to do to keep players interested. So we'll see. Battlefield 1 is another one. Guys, I also have videos on Titanfall and Battlefield. So if you want to go and watch those, I'll put them in the description below. But basically, Battlefield just needs to come out with working servers on launch. And I am honestly 50-50 on whether or not that's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, you guys have lost all momentum going into this holiday season. If it comes out and, and I can play day one with the boys and there's little connection issue, fuck. We're set. You have dethroned Call of Duty this year. So, we'll see what happens, but I know October is going to be a very packed month. Moving on, Civilization VI. Now, this is a game I don't cover because in the general scope of watching Civilization, it's a very boring game to watch. If I stream it, I don't think people are going to be very interested unless you're coming to talk strictly to me for 16 or 17 hours. I have played... A fuck ton of civilization with my boy. We've done like 16 hour straight games just like on LAN. He brings his PC over and we just LAN it up. Um, I always play Bismarck in Civ 5. It, it's so awesome. The game is so awesome, but it is a slow paced game. It's turn based. Imagine a huge game of Risk and you just start with a settler and you have to build a civilization. It's a very slow grind, but I wish that I could stream it or implement it because I really love fucking playing these games. If you guys are interested in, in seeing a Civilization stream, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. And be honest. Like, if you don't want to see it, fucking say so so that I know and don't waste my time. Moving on, Modern Warfare Remastered. I know this game has caused a lot of controversy with it being bundled with Infinite Warfare and stuff. I'm very excited for, for Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, I was debating making a video on the whole situation with the bundling and tried to explain my side of things on why I don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be, but in terms of just talking about the game itself, Modern Warfare was one of I think it's my top FPS of all time. And that's over games like Counter-Strike and Halo 3 and just everything that was popping back in the day. Battlefield 3. Like, I I loved Modern Warfare. When I was jumping from SOCOM 2 and SOCOM 3 over to the PlayStation 3, we didn't have Confrontation yet. 
Call of Duty was that fucking game, dude. We we had a, a clan that played competitively in MLG. It's not like we were like top ML, MLG, but it was very competitive. And the maps, the map design was so fucking fantastic. And it was boots on the ground, no bullshit. Your your gun skill won the day. And I really fucking miss it, and I'm very anxious to go back to it. Next one on the list is Gears 4. Now, this is kind of a, a double-edged sword because I love Gears. Gears has been, like, in my rotation forever. Um, but the thing is, is the Gears community on YouTube and Twitch is fucking dead. So if I'm streaming Gears 4, I have a feeling that, like, not a lot of people are going to be interested in watching Gears 4. It's not like how it used to be. Which sucks because I want to do coverage and I want to do content on it. But if people aren't watching, I'm kind of shit out of luck. That's going to be something I got to play on my off-off time, which I don't really have a lot of. So uh, I got to figure out how to implement some Gears gameplay to the channel and not uh, not fuck myself in the meantime. Uh, last on the list for this year, guys, is Mafia 3. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the first two Mafias. I remember going over to my boy Scythex's house and... Uh, he was playing Mafia, and I think Mafia 1, I think it was Mafia 1, and it was a single-player game. And I saw it, I was like, that looks fucking cool. Um, and I sat there and watched him play it for, like, two hours. And it, it, like, it looked cool, but at the time, like, I was playing, I was playing games like SOCOM, fucking The Warriors. Like, I was playing all those fucking old-school PS2 games, Bully, Grand Theft Auto. Like, you know, I, Mafia just got overlooked for me. This one looks fucking awesome, though. I gotta say, like, um, I'm hoping, and I don't think that this is the case, but I, I think that I can get into this one without having to know the previous stories, so that's cool. Just looks like a nice change of pace and something that I really think I can get into. Guys, all of these games, I think, besides Civilization, are gonna be reviewed on the channel. I think I might actually review Civilization. I don't know. But the thing is, is most of these games, besides Legion, are coming out in October. Which is fucked. Like, I, the schedule for October to do reviews, to do streams, and also game coverage and just gameplay and commentary, the, the content is going to be more overloaded than it was during E3. And that's for an entire month. Like, I am actually losing it. The, the work that's going to be put in there is going to be phenomenal. Um, especially now that the audience is growing exponentially, I uh, I want to make sure that I have the the best content available. So I might have to do some lower third graphics and shit beforehand, and j just to be ready for the rush, so I can edit the videos quicker and get back to playing the next fucking game in the rotation. That month is going to be insane. Um, going into 2017, I think the only game that I'm looking forward to right now would be Horizon Zero Dawn. And, like, we can talk about God of War and all those other ones, but the thing is, we just don't have release dates yet. I'm talking about, like, concrete fucking release dates. Horizon Zero Dawn looked phenomenal at E3. Um, I'm still kind of curious. Like, the game looks beautiful. Uh, it's like an open-world environment. I'm curious how long the actual campaign is going to be. I don't think I've heard anything about, like, multiplayer or anything like that. Um, it's a new IP. And that's always a risk, but it's a risk that I'm actually willing to take to move the industry forward. So I want to support games like that, especially Guerrilla Games. Like, they killed it with the first two kill zones. The the last two were kind of eh, shitty. I I want to support Guerrilla Games in moving forward and pushing new IPs and not just a rehashed version of Kill Zone again. So I'm really excited for that. Honestly, like there's there's so many games. I feel like I'm missing some. So, that's my list that I can think of off the top of my head, which makes it, like, that's my most anticipated because I'm talking about it. We can talk about Escape from Tarkov. My hype for that game is fucking immense. But the thing is, is all we've seen is alpha of a survival game. And I know that I've been burned one too fucking many times with games that show hype alphas and then it turns out that when you get it, all the, the shadows and the graphic settings are turned all the way off. And the game looks and runs like fucking trash. So, it's it's anticipated, but I'm still keeping a really cautious eye on it. Um, the alpha comes out August 4th, and I believe that that's going to be NDA'd. So, I can't actually do coverage and let you guys know until, I think, beta 
I don't think they've announced an NDA for the beta. But um, yeah, that's I'm anticipated, but it's it's something that I, I I'm still really on the fence about. The idea of it seems solid as fuck. It seems too good to be true. And I'll leave it at that. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys are looking forward to. What games you guys like playing. FPS, RTS, turn-based, uh, RPG, open world. Let me know in the comments below. Um, use the keyword anticipate. That lets me know you guys made it to the end of the video. And I, Seriously, these last three weeks have been phenomenal for the channel. I want to thank everybody who is sticking with me and, and watching the content and showing your love and showing the comments. It, it's awesome. So thank you guys, my name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.